Hey guys, today we will talk about GP Vegas and the pre-registrations. So two years ago, GP Vegas 2015, there were over 2,000, there were 2,766 pre-registers. Today, GP Vegas has less than 900. Now the caveat here is that GP Vegas is being held three weeks later this year than it was in 2015. Now GP Vegas is probably the premier event. It comes every two years. It's a big event. Uh, one of the things that I think is kind of silly for them not to do is to make it similar to GP Vegas 2015, which is the largest, not just the largest Magic the Gathering tournament of all time, but the largest ma card trading card game tournament of all time. And it was really amazing. Um, it was, you know, to have a format where everyone's just playing the same, you know, sealed. And you could open a Tamagoyf at the time. Seems pretty cool. So when you talk about GP Vegas 2017, they have just a very diluted branding campaign. It's unclear, like, is Legacy the format that you really want? Is Modern? Is Standard? And you don't have that many packs. So flying out to GP Vegas is a lot of money. And I've calculated it on my end. I'm also, you know, I'm speaking at a few conferences before then. So the, the flight schedule, I would just be kind of exhausted. But the GP Vegas, uh, it's very costly to fly there. And it, overall, Las Vegas is not the cheapest city. Um, it is, you know, a city based solely on entertainment and casinos. So they want your money very much. Why they decided not to make it Modern Masters 2017, especially given the hype, the absolute hype for that set today, is beyond me. I think that was a poor decision. Uh, they made it a very diluted, unclear what the main event. I mean, essentially, it's three GPs in one, right? You have your standard, your legacy, and your modern. And it's not, it's not something that I would say makes too much sense like yes i do know i know that like you want to bring as many people as possible so therefore you're appealing to as many demographics and as many players as possible but i feel like just having a modern masters 2017 sealed event would do wonders for the promotion of magic the gathering because then you would be in the news again you know you're record breaking and all of this good free pr the reason that they are not doing it, I believe, is based on the state of standard. Standard is a buy, 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 buy. So at no point, if you play only standard, at no point do you stop buying because of rotation. Modern, at some point you stop buying because you have a play set of every modern playable card and you no longer need to buy anymore. So therefore, it does not make sense for them to promote their most popular format so the player format is modern, right? It is absolutely modern. That's what players want to play. That's what players want to... A lot of streamers have said that they, modern is more popular than standard. It, it's because you can play a deck. You can get really good at the deck, just like League of Legends. I'm going to talk about that. You can play a champion and get very good at the champion. And then there might be some buffs or some things that happen to your champion. But the, the more... But it comes back just like in modern. It's not like it rotates out and the champion is just no no longer there. It's just going to be re reworked sometimes. So overall, I'm I think it's a big missed opportunity for w Wizard of Coast to get really good PR. It, had they gone with Modern Masters 2017, a sealed event, which they knew would be record breaking, they would have done very well. I mean, in this set, you have Lily, you have Goyf, you have Blood Moon was kind of a weird card to have five Zendikar fetch land. So you're talking about if if a ton of people are opening this product, they're going to be amazing stories about someone's pool will probably have one of each fetch land. I mean, it's a possibility, right? With that much product being opened, it, it would be quite quite amazing. Um, I would love, love to see that and other very low probability variances because just so many people are opening packs. Overall, 
I do feel like they made a mistake here and it should have been Modern Masters 2017 event just like it was in 2015. Uh, the mistake will result in less players going to Vegas than would normally go had they just done the same event with this set. Uh, the set is very good, it is very hyped, and I don't see, um, I don't understand why they chose to do a very diluted uh, GP. So this GP is similar to every other GP, it's just like we combine three GPs into one, uh, there's nothing too unique about it. So if you're going to fly, you're going to spend the money for the hotel, you're going to stay a day after, which I would highly recommend, it's not something that is unique. Uh, it just kind of resembles every other GP. Maybe just it's bigger in size and the city is different. Anyway, that's it, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.